This is an honest and sincere plea. Would you please help us? For all the people like myself who do not speak in tongues, I'm coming and asking humbly to all the people who do speak in tongues. Now, I know we aren't allowed to think or to ask questions of you. At least it seems that way. But I've got a sincere question. That is, what about us? What should we do if we hear tongues and we don't think they are real tongues? If they don't seem like real tongues, what should we do? Rob. Shut up! I know this argument is an old argument. Well, really not that old, only about 100 years since that's how long we've been seeing this. But what should we do? Or are you just saying, telling us to just be quiet, to shut up, don't ask any questions? Should we read more? That is, read more until we see it like you, even though we've read the passages, the exact same passages over and over and over again. As a matter of fact, even read them in English and in Greek. But should we keep reading until we understand it like you? Because until we understand it like you, that we're not reading it correctly? Rob. Shut up! Or should we just pray more? That is, until we see it like you, even though we've been praying, hey, could be wrong, Lord, could you please show us this? Should we just pray more until we see it like you, or? Shut up! Should we just ask for tongues? Lord, I want to have these tongues uh, like, like them, not like what I think I see in the book, but like what they're telling me it is. Uh, but the question is, what if we already did? What if tongues never come to us? What if we never have this gift like you do? Again, should we just be quiet? Rob. Shut up! Perhaps we should just be quiet and just accept the fact that we are not as spiritual as the tongue talkers. Shut up! Did I say? I'm all say it again. Say something else. Say something else. Here's another question. What if I love the Lord? I think I do. I think I have been. If I love the Lord and used to speak in tongues, and when I did, my tongues sounded just like everyone else's tongues, just like your tongues. I love the, the different sounds. Of but I know they weren't legitimate. I know I was faking. I know I was forcing myself. So my question is, why did my tongue sound like everyone else's? Hmm, that's an interesting question. That's the power of God, church. Speak it out loud. Receive it. Another question. Why didn't anyone ever notice that they were fake? Why doesn't anyone ever notice them? Are all of the people that are speaking in tongues, are they all legitimate tongues? Or is there anybody out there that's faking? And if so, how come no one ever calls them out? How come no one ever says, your tongues are not real. How come those that are faking, whoever they are, how come they're not called out? Is it because they sound just like everyone else's? And how could that be? How could fake tongues sound like legitimate tongues? How come those who are full of the spirit can't identify that? Bam, both of you got it. Take it, take it. Hey, both of you got it. Take it. Drink. 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 Maybe I shouldn't even ask those questions. Maybe I should just shut up. Shut up! But seriously, I really want to know the answer. Or if the questions that I'm asking are the wrong questions, what should I be asking? Should I be asking it all? Or should I just shut up? Shut up!